Today's intro is very serious. Recently, a coven has appeared on the X-Life server. I need information, guys. If anyone has any information about this coven, what they stand for, why they're anti-Jeremyism, please let me know in the comments down below. This intro is really serious, so please subscribe because I'm a very serious person. Welcome back to X-Life, where we are stood in front of our Bob and Bits shop here because I was uh, checking the store the other day and... Uh, Everything is kind of out of stock, like literally a load of stuff. Even sand is out of stock. So I spent like um, t two hours or so collecting loads of stuff. So hopefully we can make some more diamonds. I got 19 diamonds last time I cleared this. But now, look at this. Ooh, mama. That's a lot of diamonds potentially coming. So let's start out by putting these warp scrolls in here. I've realized now that this is not actually as much as I, I originally thought. There's there's a decent amount of stuff here, but the lassoes are the main ones. Let's let's put these in here. That's quite a few diamonds in there. And, and I thought I collected more sand than I did. Okay, well, this is uneventful, but either way, th there is some diamonds coming. That's, that's a decent amount of waystones, at least. It, it took a long time to make all this stuff. Oh, dear. Also, my sounds weren't on, so now you can hear the lovely noise of doors. I really need to arrange with Whip and Jimmy at some point to split all these diamonds we've got, because I'm going to need those to pay Jack his five diamonds as I'm kind of running low myself. And speaking of diamonds, I've closed the auction house, because the auction is now over for these pieces of art. Some of them didn't sell, which is fine. I'm going to put them up in my base so they won't go to waste. Kind of rhymed. Lizzie bought this one of me. What? Lizzie bought a few of these. None of the ones of her and me, which is interesting. But I know I made some mega diamonds up here. Look at this one. 150 diamonds from Jimmy. Callum put 145 in. Jimmy put 150. He's won that one. Scott got that one. Scott's got 10 diamonds. I've probably made about 300 diamonds in this thing. There's Jack bid on. Jack won that one with his one diamond. Whip has won this card collection over here, it looks like. He's bid 30 diamonds. Wait, Scott's outbid on that one. I've made so many diamonds, guys. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't have to do anything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around to everyone who won every auction, leave a chest at their house, and tell them that they need to deposit the diamonds at a chest I'll set up over here and then after that we can fill the auction house with some more awesome artwork so i'm going around everybody's house here and i'm leaving a book and their artwork the book actually says congratulations you won an auction at joel's auction your artwork is here please place the name tag next to it where you place it to credit the artist for payment head to the auction house and leave your diamonds in the chest outside and outside the auction house there's this chest here it says leave your diamonds under your name and it says everybody who owes me diamonds names and look how many diamonds we've made 389 i believe in total what the heck even hear Lizzie wowing next door. Now, after I recorded those clips, it has come to my attention that Jimmy and Callum both bid late on that one piece of artwork. So even though Jimmy did win it for 150 diamonds, Scott was actually the true winner. So to apologize to Scott, I'm going to sell him the painting for 10 diamonds, which I feel like is reasonable as an apology. Now, we've still got quite a bit of artwork left over. So I'm actually going to put this in my base, in my art gallery. So let me move all that over there right now. Perfect. It's all in here now, chilling. It will remain here forever. I actually missed a slot there. Oops. We've still got plenty of space in here. And for the future of the auction house, I'm not going to refill it today. But next episode, I'll be refilling it. So make sure to submit your artwork on my subreddit. The link is on the screen now and in the description. But I actually have some other plans today. Obviously, as this video isn't over yet. Now, recently... A coven appeared on the server, started by Joey, and they already have nearly as many members as Jeremy's, and it's kind of embarrassing, to be honest with you. What also is embarrassing is that their base, or whatever it is, is quite impressive, and the Church of Jeremy, which I copied off a Google image, uh, not so impressive. So I feel like we need a private place away from their base coven where us jeremy's can feel safe now i've always called jeremyville the holy land however this is my area so it feels kind of silly saying that this is the holy land for all of jeremy so today i'm going to discover the actual holy land and by that i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna build a holy land or at least start to build a holy land as i want this place to be pretty epic so first we actually need to find this holy land and we want it far away from that Witch Coven, who have officially stated now that they are anti-Jeremyism, which I am 
not so happy with, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna get on my magic carpet and we're gonna fly out until we find the suitable place for this holy land to be built on. I mean, to be discovered. What is this place? Oh my gosh. I've never seen so many pickle weed in one spot. This is kind of ridiculous. Although I love it, it's not suitable. This might be it. We're quite far out here. We're not near anybody else. And although I don't really like building on the plains biome very much anymore, this one's actually really pretty and has quite a few nice surrounding areas. So I think this place here would be perfect. Let's plop down a waystone. This is not going to be permanent. I'll make a proper one eventually. We'll call it Jeremy Holy Land. We're going to get my flight ring and we're going to start planning this area out and just trying to think out what exactly we're going to do here. Okay, so I said I was going to map it out, but I've decided instead to come up with a plan board, which is nine bits of stone with some different color signs on. I I'm, I'm sorry if this is triggering anyone's OCD. That's very zoomed in. But here are the things I want to have in the Jeremy Holy Land. A mother tree, a waystone area, a town hall, lots of ponds. I think that would look really nice, you know, just having lots of water everywhere, etc. A house for everyone. That's everyone in Jeremyism. A Jeremy temple. A wall enclosing the entire area with a big entrance gate. A farm where we farm cows, wheat, everything. Village for villagers to live in. A nature park, a treasury, an armory in case the coven decide they don't like us. And a home for Donkey Jeremy. And that's all I can think of right now. There might be more added to this in the future. But I think today we're going to start out with the Waystone area so we can get a very nice entrance. And I'm just trying to work out where everything is going to go. But I feel like in here might be good for a waystone area. And I might terraform these cliffs and maybe add some waterfalls, etc. coming in. That could be quite nice. Let's go gather some materials and stuff. And then we can get working on a cheeky time lapse. So this whole area is going to involve a lot of terraforming. But we start out by making a massive change. I actually wanted to make this sort of like an enclosed area. Kind of like spawn is exactly, but except not as symmetrical. This is more, you know, just sort of random as you can see here. Lots of different bits everywhere. And I also wanted to add a waterfall into here. Plus have a mixture of like stone and also some grass coming down. I think what you're seeing right now took around two or three hours or so in total. Uh, and it's still not finished. We still got quite a lot of stuff to do for this waystone area. I was just laying down the basis here, as you can see. And this part you're seeing right here is sort of like the exit of this area, which will lead you into the holy land of Jeremy. So you can see there's sort of like a gap. I'm going to make like a little path, a little nice waystone area and such. But I've actually got a really fun idea, which I think I'm going to add in right now as a little experiment. The heck? Where did this fella come from? What do you think you're doing? This is the holy land of Jeremyism. So as you can see, it's very sort of natural looking here. I think I did a pretty good job. I'm happy of how this has turned out. There's some bits up here which I still think need a little bit of work. Maybe let's push that back there. And obviously we need to add some like more flowers, etc. into this area at the moment. It is just all plain grass and borrowing. But what I want to do right now is another actual time lapse and I'm kind of inspired by a certain movie involving blue people. And that movie was Avatar. In Avatar, they had that sort of, you know, floating islands area. And I wanted to build something like that. And I think I'm going to do this all over this area, have like these floating islands. Some of them might have a purpose. Most of them are just going to be for looks though. So we're going to have lots of vines, trees, etc. around them. Just make it look really natural and lovely. And this angle's not the best. Let me show you it from a different angle. There, look at that. I think that looks really nice. Imagine like multiple of these. I'm going to do some bigger ones as well. This is just sort of a testing sort of section here. I think that's going to look really cool. We'll have like water falling down from them and stuff as well into all the ponds we we're talking about. Some massive ones like probably sort of that size sort of thing floating in the air. I think it's going to look really nice, really naturey. So probably next time we might get working on a load of those. But you can kind of see from this little snippet here, this area is going to look amazing. And I'm going to move the waystone into here. We're still going to keep the board up there, though. I also added animal rescue on it because I feel like this should be a safe haven for all Jeremy's. I need to work out what type of block I'm going to use for paths and stuff. Maybe you guys have some suggestions. If you do, leave them in the comments down below because we're going to leave this here for now. As, yes, it's a great start. This has taken quite a long time, but you know what? We need more members of Jeremyism. And to make Jeremyism grow, we need to kill one person. Before we can kill him... 
we got to finish his statue. So let's head to Jack's area right now. So, so far, all we've really built are his feet. Today, we're going to build the rest of him, which should be a bit easier as the feet are kind of like, you know, the basis. Once we've got this shape down, we can kind of work out the rest of the proportions. And also, I saw that Jack actually liked Jeremy 1. So we'll give him the keys to Jeremy 1 when we finish this and the digger can stay there. I'll probably move the crane though as Jeremy 2 is not the prettiest of things really. But let's have a look at our reference image again. We're going to need some blue for his jeans. But rather than use this shirt, we're going to use that hoodie that he always wears with the red sleeve and the yellow sleeve and the blue. As I think that would just work a bit better. And I've got an idea on how we're going to do the face. Let me have a look through some blocks and we'll see what the best one is we can use for his legs. We'll remove this at the same time as it's kind of in the way here. Are you guys excited to see Jack because that's right it's time for the time lapse so the body the legs etc weren't too hard to build to be honest with you I actually quite enjoyed building these parts it was kind of weird trying to build the knees but we got there eventually and I think it actually looked okay and the hoodie itself wasn't too bad either however the face is quite interesting I went for a method you'll see in a bit uh, which I think looks really, really funny. And I hope Jack actually likes it. But you can see here we've got the hoodie starting to take shape. I actually decided to add in a play button that he was holding. And I used some online picture frames to sort of make it actually look like a play button as well. And I think it actually ended up looking cool. I didn't know what to put in his other hand though. So I just kind of made it pointing. This is kind of the wrong length. I actually adjust this a bit later and it actually looks a bit better now as it looks kind of weird there. But as you can see with the face, we did start out by making a face. But then I thought, you know what? Let's just use an online picture frame. And there we go. <laughs> Look at it. It looks so funny. And <laughs> it is from afar. <laughs> I I'm really happy with it. I think Jack will love this. <laughs> He's got his play button here as you can see he's holding it in his hand. I'm really happy with how that looks It's just quite simple, but I think it looks really cool We've also got his socks his jeans the hoodie Everything is looking fantastic. He's even got the hood on the hoodie as you can see uh, Yeah um, <laughs> Didn't know what to do there, but we figured it out and here it is, you know, I'm just happy with it I think it looks really really funny. And I'm hoping Jack likes it. It's not as tall as the castle here, like I'm pretty sure it's about two blocks off, which is hilarious from the spire of that bit. So apart from that, it's pretty epic. I'm very, very pleased with this. And you know what? I'm going to get a chest, put a book in it saying, here you go, Jack. So here I've put, dear Jack, I hope you like your statue. I've included the diamonds in this chest, which I believe completes our deal. I'll be in contact to arrange a date for your execution and you'll be reborn as a Jeremy. Joel. So there we go. And I've also put this here, which is Jeremy hashtag one key. So hopefully he understands that that's for the digger. I should probably put a sign there just to make sure he knows. There, hopefully he sees that. The statue is complete. It looks really weird. I don't know what else to say. I'm just happy. I'm very happy. And that means we are done with our deal as well, which is so good. And I know I said I was done with this area, but I kind of just want to add in a couple more big islands to see if we can get this looking really good. So I'm going to add a massive one in up here. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Let's take it away with our final time lapse of the day. So I got a bit carried away and ended up building like four islands here. Plus I decorated the center. I got it quite inspired with this whole area. I really got like, this picture in my head of how it's going to look. I hope it turns out that way. I want loads of these floating islands. Like seriously, I'm probably going to spend about 20 hours of game time just building some floating islands and that probably won't be enough for me. I won't be satisfied. But I also started on the pathway here and I really wanted this to have a sort of, you know, like really bright vibe. So I went with lots of white and pink flowers. Plus I used some marble for the path as I think that'd be really nice going around the entire area. Keeps it really bright, really nice and lovely. And then we added in some more floating islands here as you can see at the end and it's looking so so nice so obviously this place is still a massive work in progress around the outside here as you can see there's still a lot of places where mobs are spawning i need to kind of light it up a bit better but here you go look at all these floating islands coming in that one's got a tree on it now as well so i think it's looking really nice and especially when you're down here 
in the Waystone area and you look up and there's all these floating islands around. Imagine just load them in the sky. Oh, it's going to look lovely. But this area down here is quite quaint, quite nice. Got one small tree, one bigger tree. We've got a little waterfall. We've got a load of flowers, like I said. This little sort of like by the water area as well. This big waterfall falling in from up there. I think it's going to look really nice when you leave this zone and head out into the holy land of Jeremy. But you can kind of see already that it's really starting to come along. I'm very excited to get working on this next time. And I'm not going to tell the other members of Jeremyism about it yet because I want to get some more progress done before we invite others to come have a look. But unfortunately, guys, that is all we have got time for with today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you are new and I shall see you another time. Goodbye.